there is something that I must speak about. Veiled threats have been given to the court that you must not interfere with what the president has done because the president gets information that is not available to you and I. The president knows who are the enemies of state. Look, if the president decides that Nelson Harvey is the enemy of state and I'm disappeared, I'm abducted, and these things happen daily, we can't question that? No, the president is not the king. The president of Kenya is not a pharaoh. The president is a servant of the people of Kenya. He exercises delegate executive power, and he must be brought to check if he veers off. And fundamental to that premise is this. The president cannot say from one side of his mouth that I'm an ordinary citizen entitled just like Wangare, Omondi, and Wafula to initiate a popular initiative towards constitutional amendment, and at the same time say, no, I'm immune from everything, including a transgression of the Constitution. My ladies and my lords, let me be frank to you. What is being prepared is synonymous to the 1985 palace siege of the Supreme Court in Bogota. That is how it started. If we can't get this, we must threaten you with this. You must not succumb to the threat, which is a veiled threat, that behold, here you are enjoying immunity as judges. Why are you not giving me similar immunity to do that which I must do? For the people of Kenya, exercise the judicial authority delegated to you without fear or favor. And here comes the dodge by Emperor Haile Selassie. You're better off dying standing than living kneeling. Do not be forced to kneel to the caprice and the oppression of those who find the Constitution as an inconvenience. I urge this court to dismiss the appeals by the first and second appellants and to some extent consider that part of the third appellant's appeal that is in consonance with the general framework of our argument from the High Court to the Court of Appeal.